We begin with a major development in Cairo today where Egypt's interim government has taken the provocative step of declaring they would, quote, take all measures to deal with violence from the Muslim Brotherhood sit-in protests in Cairo, declaring them a threat to national security. Now, there you have the AP's tweet, everyone discussing this live online. Just to give you a sense of what they're talking about, this is one of the sit-ins at Nasr City, which has been going on for weeks now. Uh, they also march occasionally to security facilities. And this is a, an image of some, or I should say, one of the 300 people that have been killed since the July 3rd military coup and this news suggests that the military is willing to take a more brutal and deadly force against the Muslim Brotherhood. Now EU Foreign Affairs Chief Catherine Ashton has just completed her second trip to Egypt. After leaving Egypt her spokesman said she is quote willing to return to Egypt in order to help facilitate moves towards democratic transition and as Ashton leaves America will arrive. President Obama has asked two senior Republican senators, John McCain and Lindsey Graham, to travel to Egypt to meet with military leaders and the opposition. Now, Lindsey, uh, actually, Senator Lindsey Graham has tweeted about this as well, but Senator Rand Paul chimed into the conversation saying, I propose we take the billion and a half dollars we give to Egypt and spend it at home, spend it on bridges and roads in America. Senator Lindsey Graham said the pair wanted to, quote, go over and reinforce in a bipartisan fashion the message that we have to move to civilian control, that the military is going to have to, quote, you know, allow the country to have new elections and move toward an inclusive democratic approach. Graham added that, quote, killing the opposition is becoming more and more like a coup.